Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com/get100 and use code get100. That's code get100 at prizepicks.com/get100. For a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this football season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of statistics, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and an enormous selection of players and stat options are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million football fans who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com/get100 and use code GET100. That's code GET100 at prizepicks.com slash get100 for a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Your Sonic Dynamics. Okay, we're in. Thanks, Blip. Join us, Silvia Rivera, played by Tisha. Nitz with his buddy Blip, played by Nico Rodriguez. Don't fall for your sonic. Yeah, we're kind of short on time, so let's just take the script. Okay, okay. Zaus, played by Richard Pouts. And Game Master, Adam Culbertson. From Creative Typo Entertainment, you're jacked into DreadTech Incorporated. trying really hard not to get watermelon juice on her clothing so she's like holding it way out and like reaching her neck way out to eat over top of the watermelon oh nitz is super messy so brand new overalls are just covered in watermelon <laughs> juice <laughs> and salt just, <laughs> yeah because you tried them on yeah, never, never took, took them off. off just wiping my <laughs> hands on the front of the overalls <laughs> Well, normally people take the food with them. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, uh, I, I don't think I caught your name, but uh, but but you, the the one with the food. Oh, I'm Dastard. Yeah, yeah, Dastard. Uh, so I I, I was just kind of wondering, like, you got a lot of stuff here that I hadn't really seen anything like before. I mean, it's definitely a lot of unique stuff here, and I, I was just kind of like wondering if maybe you had like some kind of like stuff you're throwing away or stuff you maybe don't need anymore like maybe some of the like shelves or something like I could probably take those off your hands some of the <laughs> shelves <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we got trash can over here uh, Tosha usually takes it out every day yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me see what's in there yeah you see a lot of stuff you've never like seen before it's not like future trash it's like Old timey trash. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This will do nicely. So, uh, so how how often you got stuff like this in? Oh, uh, we we, I mean, uh, the traffic through here with everybody else. Uh, we we usually accumulate a full can in a day. Oh wow, once a day. Wow, that's that's pretty impressive. I, I might just have to to talk to some of the boys. See if uh, maybe I can work out some with the uh, Manros. 
elevator guy. Uh, like, maybe, maybe you can get something uh, to maybe have them help you out with that stuff. Well, I could have Tosha bring it up to you if you really want our trash. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. That probably work. I mean, I, I never thought of that before. But getting it delivered to you—that's pretty handy. <laughs> Kind of like the junkyard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the junkyard. <laughs> I, I like this place. Um, do you have this? So this is a watermelon. Do you have any other kind of maybe more not water, but other like uh, solid melon or something that's less messy? This is great. It's delicious, but do you have one that's maybe a little bit more solid? Sylvia, a ask them. Ask them for a pineapple. I think pineapples are and less watery. Do you have a, a <laughs> pineapple? Tosher, go get a basket. <laughs> and uh, he he, Tosher gets a basket, and and Dastrin conjures up uh, a fruit basket for you, uh, with a, with a bunch of different types of fruits. He's like, you can take this, eat, eat what you want. Just make sure you eat it in less than 24 hours because it'll disappear. But if you need more, just come down here and get it. Do you, do you have instructions on eating these? <laughs> <laughs> because this, this one, and she picks up the watermelon. This one looks uh, dangerous. <laughs> the, pineapple. the pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, I got I got something around here somewhere. And he, he just grabs a book, says, How to eat fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be uh, my most uh, popular video, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have, you have a fruit basket and a book titled How to Eat Fruit. So that's Sylvia thing. grabs that book. I'll take the fruit basket. <laughs> So I'll just carry it for you. Okay. All right, Zels will take the trash can. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'll have Tosha come up, come and get that from you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I, I mean, definitely want you to be able to fill it back up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it was nice meeting y'all. Uh, yeah. I. Uh, yeah, good meeting you too. I would agree. I'd say it's nice to meet all of you, stout hearts. Sylvia. Okay, bye. Do you think we have to cut all of these in half? Uh, let's go to my room and we'll read the book. I I'm <laughs> And we'll do a, we'll do an opening video of a fruit. I like it. Bye. Take care. <laughs> have a good one. Adios. Mucho <laughs> gusto. Bye. Bye now. <laughs> Man Rose. Okay, bye. Go go to Sylvia's room. We need to go to Sylvia's room next. <laughs> oh, in such a hurry, going up to Sylvia's room. Okay, thanks. I, I mean, I, th don't you think I should probably uh, drop bye. this off yeah, yeah, first? Yeah, yeah. Go, go for it. <laughs> and I just head out. The yeah, thing. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so you go with Manrose to your room to take the trash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man, uh, that's awesome. Tisha, I will legitimately make <laughs> videos with you for Instagram of us eating fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to you got to wear your you got to wear overalls and a knitted beanie. I have a beanie but I need uh, to find some overalls. Or yeah, just a beanie, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're totally going to do this. Yeah. I'll wear I'll wear overalls. Yeah. <laughs> and a white cardigan. I don't have any cardigan. Wait, I have a gold oh. cardigan. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. that works. Yeah. <laughs> un un unpeeling videos. Yeah. Instead of unboxing. <laughs> this is how you open a a pineapple. <laughs> this is how you eat an apple. This we gotta come up with an in Instablam logo. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make how to eat fruit tutorials. Yeah. <laughs> this one is a, a called a lemon, but it's very sour. I'm I not like the watermelon at all. I'm literally gonna put salt on everything because I yeah. don't know what not to put salt on. It doesn't say anything about yeah. salt in the book. Nope. 
<laughs> you just gotta try it on everything. <laughs> oh man, yeah. What 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 else do y'all want to do? Yeah, I think that Lazaus well, is probably gonna spend entirely too long, like in his room, like digging through the this newfound like treasure trove. Okay. <laughs> well, I was gonna ask if Lazaus was gonna come up and join us for the fruit eating, but I mean, it, he in, he fully intends to, but he's also <laughs> kind of getting lost in like actually searching through all of this stuff and like talking about it with the other uh zoogs <laughs> so so i mean he'll probably make it there but it'll probably be like at least an hour later hey what you got there boss <laughs> hey yeah uh, yeah so I was, I was going around like uh, with the, the other guys and and we went down to see some uh i don't even know it's they they was like tailors or something but they also like like made food appear and like weird food too, like stuff I've never seen before. But they they also had a bunch of weird trash, like stuff I've never seen at all. Like I mean, in, in all the the time I've spent like looking through junk, I've never seen anything like this. I mean, look at how much stuff of this is wooden. Hey, I ain't never seen much, that much wood before. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, this this is like this, this is this is like the the biggest haul I think we've ever had. And they said they do this daily. <laughs> Oh man, are we gonna be able to go get it, boss? Well, we'll see. I, I don't know. Maybe we can work something out. But they said that they would actually have like uh, their son, like come up here and deliver it to us. They're gonna deliver this amazing trash on yeah. how yeah. often? Every day. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Oh man. <laughs> man, man, is this place great or what? It's almost like we're at the junkyard again, but higher. It's like it's like a an upper class junkyard. I mean, you know, it's like like a high rise junkyard. Like, you know, I mean, we're in a building and everything. You know. Oh man, what 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 a envy of all zoo. Yeah. yeah. This is a good move, boss. Yeah. Yeah, right. we definitely moving up. <laughs> all right. I think that as they're eating fruit, Sylvia is going to. Uh, cut into a, a star fruit and say you know that was really rough today I don't I didn't think that I was going to get out but I'm, I'm very glad that we have Zaus he really saved us yeah me no but both of us I think Zaus really kind of came to the rescue there too when I was under that table yeah when you were under the table while Liam was <laughs> firing fireballs at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, I, that was horrible. It was. Yeah. I think we both kind of froze up there. Uh, I think we, we owe Zaus a pretty big thank you when he makes his way up here. Yeah. Maybe we save one bite of each fruit for him. Yeah. That makes sense. Think he'd like this peel and, from this yellow thing? Yeah, I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would. I'll, I'll set this. It aside. smells nice, <laughs> right? It does. Um, yeah, but I think that this kind of just really, as much as it uh, scared me, it really kind of shows that we we need to take Jack Sonic down. Look at what they're doing. It's terrifying and horrifying. Imagine if this spread across Dark City. Imagine once they get control of Dark City with these, these, uh, Yogsosoth, 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 babies, just spread around the whole city. That would be devastating. I wonder if these scientists are some kind of base level of the same synthetic thing that Liam has now. I wonder how they're connected. Or if they are at all. Seems like they need to be... Seems like they would be connected to some degree. Maybe. I mean, uh, maybe you think that these scientists are... Were... Do you think that these scientists were maybe real people? That were very uh, smart. And then they did uh, experiments on them. And now they're... What they are kind of like what they were trying to do to Zaus. Well, I did find some research before some proof that Yog Sonic was using human test subjects to create these oozes, 
maybe these scientists are just the next version of that, the next evolution of that. What can we... Uh, I th We need more uh, information about who's really heading up Yaxonic, you think? I do, I've got... Who's behind... I've, Go ahead. I've got blip running diagnostics on that ooze stuff now while we were at the Stout Hearts. Blip's been working on that. But, yeah, do you have other ideas of stuff that we can look into to try and figure out who's at the top of this? We need to capture as somebody who can use words. Not these mutants. Maybe. See if we can get information from them. Liam keeps popping up everywhere. I wonder if there's a way for us to incapacitate him and question him. I mean, you know when, um, was it, what, how do you say it? Um, when there's little crawly things around and you take, like, a cup and you capture it and you take it outside? Maybe if we get, like, something that is um, about the size of a robotic skull and we capture him in that and then put a paper underneath and take him with us. That could, that, that, <laughs> that could potentially work. <clears throat> like a so we know stasis chamber inside of a cup? Do we need a, a stasis a chamber? I mean, his skull walked. Like a spider. Yeah. So you think a paper is going to help? Well, I mean a strong paper. A strong paper. <laughs> I'll see what I can... Well, you put your hand underneath the paper, Nitz. Put your hand under the paper. Well, I'm just thinking he had flamethrowers, okay? I don't know if his head has flamethrowers. Uh, his robot body had flamethrowers. All right. Okay, fine. So something stronger than the paper, you, you can uh, handle that. Like cardboard? That is... <laughs> that is stronger than the paper. So, okay, you get the cardboard. Yogsonic Dynamics has interrupted this feed to provide you with your daily dose of capitalism from our sponsors. Yogsonic Dynamics introduces a new agent for a new age. In addition to the breathtaking super retinal display, Trilens smart camera, and magnetic charging capabilities that you've come to expect from Yogsonic agents. The new Cerebro Dominus boasts an innovative new technology, designed to further improve and personalize your experience. The partner chip is easily installed into the nape of your neck allowing you to access your device with a mere thought. No longer will you need to physically interact with your device for it to do exactly what you want it to. The Cerebro Dominus reacts and responds to exactly what you're thinking about. Yogsonic Dynamics, always on your mind. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere. And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Hello, it is Ryan. And I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me. And you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. we prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Yogsonic Dynamics appreciates your mandatory attention. 
Now back to your regularly scheduled broadcast. Um, I don't, I don't know, but I know I'm exhausted after just the first uh, introduction to to those mutants. We need to come up with a better plan instead of just walking out into a bunch of mutant pots next time. It, it, though it was funny, and I did get a lot of views. It, they did vote that you would die. Did they? <clears throat> they did. But you, you proved them wrong, so good good for you. Huh. I'm happy that I proved them wrong. No, I agree, though. We need more information. We need better information, so we're not walking in blind like that into a situation. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we could go to Yogg-Sonic uh, headquarters, and you dress as your Yogg-Sonic, and I will do something like the same. And maybe we can find somebody to uh, talk to. Yeah. I know that. I know that outside of the building. I know um, most of those guys because I protest out there all the time. So I have a couple ideas of who maybe we can, who seem eh, a bit sympathetic, maybe, to my protests. Do you think that they were going to turn us into those crazy creatures in the basement? I mean, that's where they were supposed to take us once we got captured, right? I have no idea. Maybe they were going to absorb us into the blob. Yeah, I'd rather not be a blob ever okay so here's what i'll do i'll see how we're doing on our little scam that we're running to get the bounties off our heads see how well that's that program is holding up and then i'll see what blip gets back from that vial of ooze what's oh i i know what if i go as my alter ego Marsha and do a protest like I used to do but obviously as me as Sylvia can't do a protest out there but I could go protest and you can be in your Yogg-Sonic uniform and look around and see if anybody seems kind of sympathetic on the Yogg-Sonic side that maybe will give us information yeah should we put some feelers out to schedule the protest for to be noticed? Yeah, I will... I can put out uh, a message saying that um, my uh, friend, Amarsha, will be doing a protest in my honor. Since I obviously I can't. And which facility should we protest, do you think? Um, the one that they held. Uh, Zaus. That's the one that I usually go to. Okay. I like this idea. Let's see what Zaus has. I'm going to message him and ask him if he's got cardboard down on his floor that he can bring up. So I'll use my agent and shoot him a message <laughs> about cardboard and ask him if he's coming to eat some food. Um, yeah, Zaus probably would have some cardboard. Probably at least a little bit that he could spare. <laughs> I mean, they they got some pretty strong cardboard from Chug Burger. Uh, to be able to hold the the massive uh, chug size food. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. You you could probably probably spare like a, a chug burger carton or two. <laughs> <laughs> you even have a chug burger tray. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring he'll bring the tray with it. It's like a set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sylvia fills in Zaus on what their idea is of going to going under an alt, um going as Marsha to protest outside and seeing if we can possibly capture someone or if one of the Yogg-Sonic employees might just be willing to give us information if not, I mean, plan B is to just capture one of them so, uh, I mean, it's a pretty good plan. I mean, I think I think it'll probably do well, but, like, where do I fit in this? Well, you are the backup, right? You 
I will. I can have you invisible, and if anything goes wrong, you are the savior. Okay, okay, I can live with that. And you can also uh, look around, maybe uh, do the same as uh, Nitz is doing, looking around for people that might have uh, information. All right, yeah, yeah, let's do that. How long does invisibility last? One hour. Again. Oh, okay, okay. And that's concentration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's, uh, yeah, just the normal normal invisibility. So, like, yeah. if I were to attack, it would go away. Yeah. Uh, it's greater invisibility. Does greater. does greater also last an hour? Um, I thought so. Oh, um, no. It's concentration up to a minute. Yeah, because it dropped on... Yeah. It dropped on uh, Nitz before. Um. Hmm. I can. Polymorph. But I mean, Polymorph. That, that's probably. Yeah. I mean, in all honesty, like not being able to attack while invisible is probably fine because by the time stuff's really going down, it doesn't really matter if Zaus is still invisible. Yeah. But yeah, by the time stuff gets to like firefight levels, like mm-hmm. Zaus doesn't really mind being exposed. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, it's probably better if he's exposed. Yeah, I could do polymorph. And then you can be uh, whoever you choose. A raccoon, maybe? You like uh, a raccoons? Right, talking raccoons? With big guns, that sounds real. Real, real weird. <laughs> <laughs> like ridiculous, even. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> what you want to polymorph uh, and then a signal. Right, so uh, when you are uh, polymorphed, you can't necessarily uh, speak the same language as me. So we need a signal for when you want me to stop concentrating on making you a well, polymorph. If you're going to turn me into something, shouldn't it be something like Inconspicuous? Yeah, what you want? A uh, uh, caterpillar? A rat? I, I, like, well, like what's, what's normal like around that area? I mean... Uh, like, like, what what kind of animals would you see around there? The flying serpents around me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, what what would what does I don't know. So, is, what has does your protest like have some area? kind of mascot or something? Oh, what? Does does your protest have some kind of mascot or something? Hmm. That's a you good dress question. Dress up as a mascot. Yeah. Or in a mascot outfit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, could dress. Could dress Zaus up in. Uh, yeah. So you could just be. A. A mascot, and your signs yeah. could be your guns. But we just put, like, we kind of wrap them in some paper to make them look like sign handles. <laughs> and then put the signs over top of them. So you're carrying around these big, huge guns that look like signs. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a tailor that, that can sew a, a mascot outfit yeah. together. That's true. Hmm. Just got to figure out what kind of mascot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my first thought goes to Tracy Chapman would be her mascot, but I don't think that's correct. I'll, I'll have to think of it. <laughs> All I can think of is a Chug Burger mascot. <laughs> See, the thing that always comes to my mind whenever I'm like trying to think of like a team name or I guess mascots in this case is the Mongooses. Mm. <laughs> That's a good team name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to write down that I need to think of a mascot for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Intro and outro music by Nico Rodriguez. Head on over to dreadtechinc.com for everything on the show and other creative typo productions. They found us. Dump the connection to it. The Oxonic Dynamics apologizes for the unscheduled interruption. Remain calm as we locate the nearest re-education facility. You may proceed, user 834-2167.
Have a yoxonic day. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, avoid, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus.